Hi everybody, welcome back to my 26 week pregnancy update and in case you are new here, my name is Lola and I like to record videos about all things pregnancy. I have some travel videos, some lifestyle videos and I also have a cleaning video coming up as well. I am currently pregnant with our first baby so I'm documenting my pregnancy on a weekly basis and all the way to the birth of our baby. So if that's something that you think you might be interested in, please subscribe so you can catch some more of my content. I will have the bump update at the end of the video but for now let's just get right into the questions. So the first question says, how are you feeling? This week I've been feeling so much better. I think it's due to my sleep. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I wasn't feeling as well, but I, this time around, I just feel like I just have so much more energy because my sleep has gotten so much better and I've been able to do uh, more workouts and get through them just in a, with more energy. And I've had so much more energy because of all of that combined. So I have woken up in the middle of the night, but I think now I kind of know how to put my thoughts at rest. So it hasn't been anything that I can't deal with. But yes, I've had so much more energy. I've been so much more pumped to get through the week and it's been working out great. How far along are you? I am 25 weeks and five days today. And it says that baby is as heavy as an eggplant. Has baby moved? Yes, my baby is still moving a lot. <laughs> I actually feel like it feels it feels even stronger. Like the way they move now, it feels a little bit stronger. Like they're pushing a little bit stronger. I can feel them more. Any cravings? This week I had a craving for kale and some tahini. So I haven't had kale in a while. I used to have kale almost all the time, but I went to the store and I got some kale and then I also got some tahini and I made a tahini dressing and put it over my kale and it was so good. I really recommend kale. If you guys have never had kale before or you're kind of afraid or you've had it and it didn't taste good, I highly recommend you to massage your kale with some lime or some lemon or even some olive oil and it just tastes tastes so much better. How are you sleeping? I'm, I've been sleeping really good this week. It's been great. Like I said, I have woken up in the middle of the night but I can put my thoughts at rest so that's been good. Any stretch marks? No, no stretch marks on my bump. Like I said, I did want to show you guys this balm that I've been using. I don't know if you can see it because it's kind of bright. Let me see. But it says it's got vitamin E. And I've been putting lotion ever since I found out I was pregnant. I started putting lotion on my bump. And then I got this. So I started, I got this for Christmas. So I started putting this on, on top of the lotion. So I've been lucky not to get any stretch marks, but I mean, if they happen, they happen, right? We can't do anything about it. Belly button in or out? My belly button is still in, but I will say that it's more out than in as of now. Wedding rings on or off? My wedding rings are still on. Happy or moody? This week I've been so happy because it's Valentine's Day today and I just love Valentine's Day. <laughs> as pathetic as that might sound to some of you, Valentine's Day is my favorite holiday. Like I love Christmas, I love all those other holidays where family can get together but I just, I don't know, I'm a hopeless romantic. I love Valentine's Day and I, I've been so happy also because it's my friend's baby shower this week. And I'm just so happy for her. She's also pregnant with her first child. And her and her husband are just over the moon. And I'm just so happy for them. So I'm excited to see her. Something memorable this week or something that you're looking forward to? So something memorable that happened this week was I listened to a song. And I got very emotional about it. And I actually recorded a clip so I'm gonna insert the clip here somewhere so you can see it because I'm talking about that experience with you. I listened to this song and I heard it before but this time it just hit me so differently because I saw it with the perspective of being a mom 
and it just made me cry so much because I just I have so much desire to meet to meet my baby and I'm not trying to cry <laughs> but it was just so emotional for me and I just had to go to my go to a different room because I was in a room with my husband and my sister and I just had to take some time alone and go through some of the things that that family has given us for our baby so I have this box and I put some of baby's things in here and I don't know why like these like little socks I think my sister gave them to us <laughs> they're like these blue blue and white little socks oh, they're so cute I just couldn't stop like holding them and just thinking about baby and like just thinking about the fact that they're gonna be here soon and I just I don't know like I feel like waiting having to wait for like nine months is so much for a mom <laughs> I'm sorry I'm not trying I'm not trying to cry in the middle of the video but I just got so emotional and I just I I just can't wait to meet our baby it's so like I said it's kind of torturous to have to wait nine months to meet someone that you love so much but I I'm grateful that they're growing I'm grateful that they're they're there they're they're somewhere safe and and of course I want them to be in there for as long as they need so that was something that really touched me this week and I just wanted to share with you guys look at these little booties <laughs> So that's all I got for you guys this week. Thank you so much for watching. I want to remind you that I uploaded a video about our Italy trip. We took a trip to Florence this past September. So I just put some clips together of our trip and I just wanted to have a video for us to have those memories still with us. And if you want to go check it out, I'm going to leave links to the video on the description box below or somewhere in the screen up here. And also, I have a Clean With Me video coming up. So if you're interested in watching that, stay tuned because that's going to be coming up on Thursday of this week. But I, other than that, I hope you enjoyed this week's video and stick around for the bump update. So I'm in the middle of editing the video, but I wanted to say thank you so much for all of you who take the time to reach out to me. I know some of you might not comment on my YouTube videos, but you take the time to text me or send me a DM via Instagram. So I just wanted to say thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I really enjoy hearing about your opinions and all the advice that you have. So thank you and I hope you keep enjoying my videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!